Are we? Interestingly, Sunny Street, yeah, we started developing it and the core of what we wanted to do has remained the same. How we've got there it's has been different. unexpected. We thought originally we would, um, you know, we're a doctor and nurse, so we went very medical. Um, and we thought we'd be two chicks with a truck um, yeah. and we'd be a charity and we would set up in a park and people would come and it would be wonderful. Um, and <laughs> it did not work that way. <laughs> we um, well, we're, we're still two chicks, but we don't and we have, have a have truck. A, we have a truck, but we decided <laughs> not to sit in a park. We realised that that was an absolute failure. Um, so we tried to model off um, American and Austra other Australian street medicine groups. That was very difficult. Um, and we found it difficult. There wasn't a lot of sharing of information. So we really had to do a lot of research ourselves. But what we did is look locally. So we found that collaborating with local providers, and I guess for us it was finding out who else wants to solve this problem as much or more than us. So for us, we looked at community centres, um, places like that, and LinkedIn and said, hey, we're wanting to provide a service. Um, you know, you're already providing food and laundry and maybe we could create more of a hub, um, a wraparound service for individuals, like a one-stop shop. So we really had to change our mind about our, our model. Mm. Um, and then we went into trial that. So, and we found that model um, has been quite successful, but also we've had to alter the way, you know, it could be that, um, the values of the service provider are not the same as ours. Um, so we've had to, over time, develop a criteria around our clinics about what will actually be successful and what does a successful clinic mean. So um, there's been a lot of points of validation along the way. Mm -hmm.